Welcome to Valhalla. We are closing the first print. Here is the prototype. I'm gonna go through some details. If you are into advanced 3D printing, technical stuff, 3D modeling, prototyping, this is your channel. And please subscribe. So here is the Wii Baby. And first, let's have a look at some new parts on the printer. We have the bed supports we have two on this side one on each corner with uh, of course thumb screws and we have one fixed point on this side you know we lever level over here first and then we move on to the corners and do dolls i've not tried this before but let me know what you think in the comments also have this adjustable um, fixing point for the belted sea lift so we can tighten this belt uh, so it doesn't have any slack these corner um, brackets for the bed are already on and i'm not i need to order a bed and we need a bed i think about 200 210 i would, pre would prefer 210 the silicone heaters which i want to use they come in like let's say 20 by 20 or 200 by 200 millimeters. So that's why it's nice to have a little brim around. Uh, so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit skewed. Uh, so 210 by 210 millimeter would be nice for this size. The travel is not more than um, 190 on the X and 170 on the Y. We need to take into account what kind of silicone heaters we can get we don't we want something off the shelf I also mirrored this guy because <laughs> again um, the cable connector things you don't think about the cable connector did come out at this face so I had to redesign this bracket so we can have <laughs> the the cable connector coming upwards because we cannot really turn the motor then we have to <laughs> take the whole gear apart. Let's have a look at the X carrier, which have been a big bottleneck. So I have it here. I'm going to show you that later. This is what I have going on. And we have the clamp, of course. Let's just hide the clamp for now. So it's more easy to concentrate on the important parts. We have the X carrier, which looks like this. We have this fan shroud or what I should call it this kind of fan it's a blower so this comes just comes down like this and fits straight onto here and attach with a couple of nuts and it should go nowhere what do you think let me know what you think it should be easy to replace you know can have a dozen of them <laughs> with the let's say different nozzles or whatever and uh, maybe use a couple of minutes to just change it Let's bring in the fan, because I, I need some help with the fans, guys. So let's have a look at the 5015 blower. This is what I'm thinking about using for cooling the hot end. We can have it like that. And just make a shroud for it, which attached to the fan, and then go down into this space. Make a comment and let me know what you think about this fan uh, system for cooling the hot end. It would be something like this fan coming down into this space down into here and needs to go out here uh, I think that should be a good solution also by the comments made by you I made some changes to this route so it's not lower so it will cool the lower part of the heatsink which we need so thank you for that I, I don't remember your name but uh, thank you anyway what should we do about layer fans guys we need some layer fans i don't know where to place them we could do a couple of these guys on the side here let's just attach this guy so it could be over here somewhere and of course a fan shroud down here uh, some kind of system i don't know this is very difficult because we don't have the best space <laughs> on our printer so this is what it would look like on the machine if we have it somewhere like this it does not restrict our movements 
we still have full um, X movement and full Y movement, which is important on this little baby printer. We don't want to steal the build volume by these fans. Some of you would like to place it on the backs, on the back of the X carrier, and then going down below the fork and then over to the nozzle. Uh, I'm not sure I like it, and also we don't have too much space to play with. We have this idler which we need up here. Um, any comments, any advice on how to solve the <laughs> mystery with part cooling fans? Help me out. I, we might have a print starting in uh, the next week. So ne next vlog might include a print. That would be nice. We might even just start a print without the layer fans and figure that out later. We are closing up on uh, releasing parts for the patrons, of course, and the coffee, coffee supporters. And this is all very exciting. This is the Wii Baby as the current uh, status. I'm gonna change the hot end to this guy. Let me show you the hot end. Re release these guy, uh, two M4s. So we take off the nuts. Then this is a little bit tight, but that's okay. Then we take it off. Now so here is the X carrier, and here is the hot end. So it just slide it on like this and attach the nuts and this goes nowhere this is dead stuck imagine the blower on top here like this a little bit elevated if you enjoy this kind of content please subscribe and watch more of the design vlogs over here somewhere I think it's over there oh, over here so happy printing guys we're going to run up to 200 millimeter a second.